No one tells you how boring kids are. No one told me that. They're so boring. They're so boring. Oh my God, they're so boring. Honestly, this, I dread the school pickup like a rectal exam. I do. It's like sitting in a four-wheel chamber of torture, having to listen to their painfully monotonous yarns. Daddy, da- daddy, do you know Ava? Daddy, 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 daddy. Yeah, 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 I, I know Ava. I don't know Ava, right? They're all bleeding Ava to me. They're all annoying, like short, squeaky tourists with oversized backpacks. That's what they're like. Daddy, do you want to hear a funny story, daddy? So, do you know the way I like cheese? Yeah? Well, Ava likes cheese too. And so does Daisy. But Daisy doesn't like you with butter. But me and Ava do like you with butter. Yeah, isn't that funny? Daddy, daddy, daddy. Yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. And inside I'm thinking, really? That's the best you've got, is it? That's the best you've got. That's your story of the day. Because you don't have to talk. You know? That's a shitty story. You know, it's not funny or interesting. It doesn't have any of the ingredients you require for a good anecdote, you know? Daddy, what's your favorite color? Daddy, 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 daddy. Jesus, Matty. I'm 44. I don't give a flying fuck about colors. You're a very boring little girl, you know that? Sorry to tell you this, I love you, but you have the ability to tell stories that makes people want to drink diesel. It's not your fault, you get it from your mother, you know? But I can't say that, can I? You can't say that because she's six, you know? So I have to sit there going, I don't know, what's your favorite color? Daddy, I'm thinking about unicorns. What are you thinking about, daddy, daddy, daddy? I'm thinking how I'd like to impale myself on a sharp end of one. That's what I'm thinking. So daddy, pink or blue? Daddy, daddy, daddy. Jesus, we're back to this shite, are we? Fuck it, blue. Oh, daddy said a bad word tonight. The inner dialogue's getting very twisted now at this stage. Look, just don't tell your mum. I like purple and orange and green and yellow. I like the way yellow sounds. Yellow, 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 yellow. And I just sit there and go, Jesus Christ. And I just daydream that I'm on a lad's trip in Barcelona. <laughs> drinking pints on the Ramblas. Yeah. So boring being a dad. Oh, it's so boring. Don't get me wrong. I love my kids. They're my world. But all they do is talk about themselves. That's, <laughs> that's all they do, you know. And they're so, they're so ungrateful, you know. And demanding. And spoilt. And moody. And privileged. And ungrateful. Did I say ungrateful? Because they're really feckin' ungrateful. Oh, they're hard work. And they get such an abundance of food. I never got that when I was a kid. If I put one thing in my mother's trolley, she used to drive it over my foot. <laughs> ah, just as a little, fuck you now. Just a little, little warning shot. Just don't do that, you know? She did. I know a lot of you think my mother's like Mother Teresa or something. That's not the woman I grew up with. She's an imposter, you know? The lady you all know is my mammy. is just an old lady trying to get her ass into heaven. That's who she is. <laughs> Honest to God, I'm telling you. Your mum's so zen, she's so inspiring. She was dark and evil, <laughs> right? She was like a Martin Scorsese character. That's what she was like. The Irish mam, that's what I'm gonna call her now. That's it. She was a cup of tea and a ginger nut away from being Joe Pesci. <laughs>